Linux. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create inside patch. So we will not possible to create the boundary blind because you can see that we are need to connect the surface in three directions. For this exercise, I like to reuse the old feature for old Pro Engineer, and I can start searching over here, and I will write inside. Yeah. And you see that system found for me inside patch. So we will select the function and we will continue with inside surfaces. If I will come from done, the system will ask me please select the curves. So I will go through around the geometry. And if I will confirm, I can confirm again done. And in the preview window, the system, if you spin the model, the system will show you the final result. If you use the boundary condition, you can specify the tangency. Over here, it was really quick example how to do it. But I can tell you that if you will run Creo from scratch, and if you would like to try to found the feature and side patch, will be not possible. Or over here is the question how I have prepared the geometry. It was really easy and we can reuse IDD or import data doctor. So I would like to show you how to prepare geometry for this test and you can create any extra feature, for example rectangle. And if I will come from OK, yeah, I'd like to show you that it's possible to create the surfaces. Yeah, directly the system will create the surfaces and in option you can use the kappa dance so it was really easy to create the object based on the surfaces I'd like to continue so we will use the round feature and we will specify the different kind of dimension of the round so without control you will select three different size of the round and the system will create the shape for you. You can use like, use like this, doesn't matter about the dimension. Okay, and later on I like to create the cutting curves. Much easier way is if you will create new datum plane and you will move, come from OK and with control button you can select the intersect function. Yes, yeah? so intersect with control button and the system will use and create intersection curve. Again, we can continue. I would like to create again the datum plane. It will be offset here, for example, like this. OK, intersect with this surface. Last will be created on top. We will move a little bit, come from OK, intersect with this surface. Great. If I will switch off, you see a couple of entities. Great. In the model tree, you can see that we have a lot of feature. You can really easily transfer this feature into editing and collapse, and the system will create something like imported or independent geometry. So you can select the definition, and the system allows to you to jump to import data doctor. Over here, you can select anything and delete. So, for example, these two surfaces I'd like to direct to delete, so I will delete. And this surface I'd like to make us independent from the geometry, because if you use right now the trim feature, the system will trim and will be something like not happen or something like this. So, you can select this surface and detach so will be not connected and right now you can use the trim feature and specify what you would like to leave and again I can use de detach this geometry and directly trim regarding this one and last detach and select the trim functionality and finalize look good you can confirm and again for example 
you don't need to use these datum features, datum planes and datum curves and so on. You can delete and you know that if you would like to finalize, you have to merge. So what does it mean? You can combine and collapse. So you will have one surface group. If you will come from OK and again OK, you can specify what you would like to add. So for like for example, I'd like to add the curves between two points because it's possible to really easy and nicely to add curve. So I would like to specify the shape of the curve and you can continue and in the previous tutorial you have seen how it is easy to manage the curves and what does it mean of the selection of the endpoint and how to manage the arrows. And last one will be defined between these two points and again the end condition will be defined as the tangent on the beginning and at the end. Great. And what we would like to do, we can select the surface and I would like to test if it is possible to make trim function and if I will select this curve looks really good. So you can confirm and again here you can use the trim function and select the size. And again last one trim by this curve opposite direction and it's great. And what we would like to finish or how we would like to finish to specify the recognition of the searching the hidden option yeah right now the system can found for me but i have specified for me two configuration options so please add into your config file allow anatomic feature yes and enable obsolete feature because the end patch inside patch feature is the obsolete it's really old one and we would like to reuse this feature so based on these two configuration options specify as yes the system allow to you to find for example inside patch and at the end again we will create quickly inside surface or confirm done of the selection and select one by one the necessary entities. I use the control button, confirm OK, confirm done. You can use the preview or directly the OK button. You can select the quilt. You see that it is not connected altogether. So select the second quilt of the patch, merge. You would like to join these edges at the end. And if you confirm, everything is ready and looks good yeah in this video tutorial you have learned how it's possible to create inside patch or how it is possible to configure your creole for obsolete features from pro engineer like video tutorial stay tuned or buy me a coffee bye bye Adieu.